Hold on. <laughs> We're live. Okay. okay. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Yay. Morning. No, Heather, yeah. You have to reel it in, and you have to pick one thing you like to collect, or you're going to end up having a hoarder house. <laughs> <laughs> On the phone like now. My... Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Jeannie. I'm waiting for you to say what you were trying to say because I'm always cutting you off <laughs> on our delay. No, that's fine. Morning, Eddie. I lost your email. I have your address and everything, but just... um. Email me, so I'll have your email. I think I like archived everybody and it messed with how I searched. So I need to find my archives. Good morning, Eddie. Norma Jean plus one. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've been to a Norma Jean sale. I need to go. <clears throat> yeah. I remember when I first met her, I didn't know the plus one was her daughter. And I thought she was like expecting and then I was, and she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I felt dumb. Good morning, Maury. Her daughter is expecting now. Sweet Yay. Heather is her name, too. Heather. She's expecting. Oh, congratulations. Her, and her daughter. Yeah. Not my true. Norma said a yes, yes. Congratulations, Norma Jean. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eddie. Good morning, Maury. Maury, sweetheart, I sent you a package mm -hmm. out yesterday or the day before, Maury. I sent you some little doodaddies I think you'll like as well. That's sweet. Okay, let's see. Wow, we got a good bit of people here early, so that's good. Great. Where do we want to start? I think I went first yesterday, huh? I said, Oh, you're I the think guest I did. <laughs> did I said, you're the guest today. I'll be the guest today. Mm -hmm. we, need to try, we need to try it on your channel. We need to try going live, even if it's just for fun. If you'll help Wait. me, I'll try it out. Oh, yeah. Girl. Morning, Lindsay Ann. I'll help you. Patty Pauls. Hey. Patty Pauls. Hey, sweetheart. Okay, I'm just going to, like, go from what's closest to me to the farthest, and we'll see how this happens. This is a Linux vase, and I think it's a bud vase. It has the stamp and the sticker, and so here's the bottom, and it's in excellent condition. Linux is a really good brand. Um... And it's got all these little, like, pearl bumps on it. I don't know what to call those, but it's a very cute piece. It's different. And I'm going to start this out at $5. $5. It's almost like cobnail, huh? Almost, yes. It's very tiny. Almost, yes. It reminds me of those old lamps. Do you remember the white ones that were all bumps? Do you remember the white ones? I do. Okay. And so that's my first one. And then I also have this basket. To me, it looks Fenton, but I don't know how to. It's Fenton, but I don't know how to. If it's not marked, I, I have a hard time telling. And so it's a ruffled basket. It's white. So if you have, you know, your red and blue decor for the 4th of July, it's got these little um pressed handles it's got a ribbed handle and this is going to be a ten dollar start michelle p michelle p hey michelle yes we made it to friday <laughs> oh genie Okay, so that's my two. Oh, y'all let me know if y'all are interested. 
I'm congratulations on that baby coming because I know that's exciting. Yeah. Okay, I have six of these little juice glasses. They're mid-century modern. They're four inches, about four and a half inches. I did measure them earlier. They do have a lot of gold um, trim on them, and then they have like this little, it's kind of a textured white. They are very beautiful. They're, they are a very light amber color, amber glass color, but it's very, very light. They are beautiful. And again, I have six of them, and I'm going to sell them for $12. I can't hold all six of them up. But there's half of them. They are very, very thin glass. Very thin. Could be a right. barware, I guess, or juice, or right. whatever you would like them to be. There's the bottom. I don't see a mark on them. There's six of them for 12. Then I have this sweet little kitty cat. Got three dollars on it. It's got beautiful blue eyes and it's got a pretty bow on it and a little tail. And it's just it's made in Brazil. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Yeah, made in Brazil. And it's just it's no chips or cracks or I don't even believe it has any paint loss on it anywhere. It's just as sweet as it can be. Am I freezing up, Lucy? No, you look great. I mean, you're you're a little like your lips aren't moving with your mouth, but we're gonna get there. Um, uh, we'll figure it out. They are working on my um, internet. Yeah, her AT and T people are out there, so it might kind of be weird. Um, three dollars. Type three in the chat. Three 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 in the chat. And we'll see how this or twelve one on the glass. And or twelve on the glass. That is an adorable cat, and he's big. Mm -hmm. Thrift News! Sam and Sarah. I think it's Sam. I don't know. I try to All get right. It. I'm good. I love Thrift I think everybody in here knows y'all. Is... But if not, mm -hmm. go subscribe to I laugh. I like to watch them because they make me feel so good laughing, carrying on. I just thought their sense of humor is my sense of humor. I love it. They're it's hilarious. Always something new. They're hilarious. <laughs> Thank y'all oh. for coming in. Yes, it's Sam. I figured it was. I hope Mama's getting a little sleep. She stays up late. Yeah. Sarah. yeah. Casual flipper. Those, there you go. Okay. So I'm going to. Mute Teresa, unmute yourself when you want to talk because you know I love you. And Sam is the greatest. You guys go subscribe to them. They're a good time. Even if you don't want to shop, you'll like laugh your butt off. So um, I'm sure everybody already knows Thrift you, but in case. Um, okay. So I do have this beautiful piece that I picked up yesterday. And it is like a canister set like these could be sat on your desk for your paper clips rubber bands tacks or whatever or in your bathroom for different things but they're very ornate and pretty there's like a flower with the bird on the first one and i'll start this at 10 and then the middle one has more flowers and a bird it's got a bird on everything i think and the insides are are fine there's no issues with it and this last one oh yeah it's all new stuff today eddie is another very ornate bird i know i'm bad at holding things still and yeah so that's um that it's got this little shelf that it sits on doors and then I also picked up, and I haven't even opened it yet. This is an Avon piece. It is a pin cushion. Oh, thank you, Thrift You. Sam, let me call you by your real name. And it's a pin cushion, and it needs some cleaning up, obviously. I just pulled it out of the box. Um, let's see what it smells like. Not bad. It smells like men's aftershave. Um, and it is. Sonic Cologne. And I think it's funny that they make 
if this is for men, stuff in a boot like that. And it still has, oh, I thought that was an insert. But anyway, and it's box, and I'll Zaps. definitely pull up for you. And it's going to start at $4. Fashion boot pin cushion Sonic Cologne Avon. So if anybody's interested, just type a four in the chat. And my other item was ten. And I'm gonna throw it on over to Miss Teresa. Okay, thank you, Sam. I hope it helps. Try I'm new at this and the struggle bus is real. This is a little wooden, maybe monkey pod, I believe, um, little fish trinket dish. I have $3 on it. And uh, Father's Day's coming up. He could throw his change or his keys or something in this. Or if, you know, I like it myself, but, you know, it could be used for numerous things. It holds a lot of jelly beans. <laughs> It does have a lot of detail. It even has a little eye. It's real cute. And that's three dollars. Then I have this beautiful Las Vegas mug, and um, it's two dollars. It has a lot of beautiful scenery on it. It has a big handle. You could have a lot of coffee or hot tea or hot chocolate. It's like the night skies. That's two dollars. And that's mine. Monkey pod for three, cup for two. Love the monkey pod wood. Love that stuff. Oh yeah. Understand, Sam. Maybe understand. Time struggle. Oliver is needing a mother in law shot. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Um, next item. This is adorbs. It's a little egg. I don't think it's old. I think it's a, a you know modern piece made to look old. It's got like a little love scene on it. It's a footed egg. It's got little gold feet. It's got gold tone hinges, and it's it's very clean inside. It has a little um flower printed in there and I'll start this bad boy at three dollars I love that romantic look I struggle I go back and forth between mid-century and this kind of stuff in my house it's a weird combo okay and then my next piece I'm going to start out at eight dollars it is a butterfly plate and it's decorative it's got the raised flowers they have some little things in there for the pollen it's got the butterfly um it's a very pretty like lavender purple color and it has its wall hanging thing and it has the rubber bumpers on almost all of them but this one but it's still in like, I don't see any issues with it. So I don't see. You got Patty for three. Is for, that for your first thing? For the egg. And then did I give a price on this? $8. I don't <laughs> think so. $8. And let me give you a good view of that. Lots of lavender. And there's the back, and I'm going to throw it on over to Teresa. Thank you. I have this very heavy cast iron little doggy. I had never seen anything like this before. I'm going to let it go for five. It, it is really cast iron. And he's just he's like a little stance of walking. He has... um. This is a little fur showing and stuff like that. And just a little like he's walking in the wind a little bit. His fur is kind of moving, looks like. But he is very heavy. He could be a doorstopper or paperweight for sure. 
These $3. Then I have a little Yorkie, which I already have so many of, so I don't need them. I'm going to let him go for a dollar. He's precious. Oh. Yes, a little bit. It's a girl Yorkie, so. And I have a boy. So. <laughs> but that's a little bow in its hair. Adorable. So let it go. So those are my two. If anybody's interested, just put it in the chat. Thank you. Oh, and I do have Stephanie's uh, Thrifting Again uh, shirt on today. Y'all go support Stephanie. She's a hoot. I love her. I love her story about when she was wearing, I think it was shorts. It was hilarious, the way she tells her story. Okay. This next Funny. piece is pretty amazing. It is Andrea by City. I know that's not pretty, you know. I mean, she's cool. She makes nice stuff, but this plate is awesome. It's texturized. It's got, like, applied paint on top. You can feel it. Um, it's just a really overall pretty piece. If it matches your home decor, very um, Asian-inspired. It's got the gold gilding around the rim, and it is not for food use because the paint will poison your food, so it's for decorative purposes only and there's the back it's got a couple you know some staining on the back but other than that it's like no chips or cracks or anything anywhere and it's a bigger piece this is going to be a ten dollar start and it is a 10 inch round plate tick tick it's like a good pot it looks like a piece of pottery like it's really awesome Okay. And then next I have also for $10, which I think it's another beautiful piece. And this is, again, Andrea by Sadiq. It's the Songbird Collection. And the copyright says Elizabeth Gold's Rush, which I'm, you know, maybe she did the inspired the art. I'm not too sure. It does. It's barcode on there. It's got its plate hanger on, um, and it's a little bird. And again, it's got that texturized look to it. And another ten dollars. So if you're interested, type ten in the chat. If any, you know, and y'all can battle it out. If there's any other interest, and I will throw it on over to Teresa. Thank you, guys. Patty, I have you for both dogs. Thank you very much, hon. And good morning, Miranda. Glad to see you in here. And next, I have salt and pepper shakers that are the little geese. They have their stoppers. They don't have any markings on them. But um, they're $2. Start bid for $2. If you do white decor or any decor, really, these would match. They're really cute. Cute little. Okay. There's one. And then I have Tupperware salt and pepper shakers. And I'm going to let these go. These are going to be four because they're Tupperware. They are Tupperware. They do have their lids. They're in perfect condition, which is a lot of the defined Tupperware. They'll have some little melty spots or something on them. So those are four. You go in camping or you have a little camper or you live alone or just want to mix up some seasonings or something. It's really good to have these little things. So I have set of Tupperware and a set of geese, salt and pepper shaker. Let me know if you're interested. Thank you. So I see Patty Paws at $2. Um, for, for the geese. And then Heather says, Mom, I want the Tupperware. Okay, Heather, there you are. Okay, never Heather. Those. those are amazing. Okay, got it. I got y'all both. Thank y'all. Michelle says they're from Picnic Set. That's really cool. I bet people are searching for those. Okay. Let's see. Next up, I have this adorable little bear that's an angel. And he's got his wings. He, he lays down. He's got the cute little feet. And the designer is Barefoot. And the bear's name is Michael. And it's by Montana artist Jeff Fleming and Big Sky Carvers. And there's his markings. He is 
number 702 out of 5,769. But somebody hand wrote that in. That's special. Anyway, he's $5. If anybody's interested in that. I just love the paws on the back. Nice shelf sitter. And then uh, I also have this little dog. Well, he's not little. He's big. Let me get my ruler. He is, let's see, about, no, he's 10 inches, 9 to 10 inches tall. And he looks kind of like a Boston Terrier or a Frenchie. And he's going to be an $8 start. And he's got no issues. I'm pretty sure this is a modern piece. Just from the look. He's in such good shape. Antiques from Karen. Good morning. All right. And those were my two. And I'm going to throw it on back to Teresa. Let me know if you're interested in either of these items in the chat. Thank you. Okay, everybody that don't like clowns, look away. <laughs> these clowns. are tiny, about two inch. I, I do too. Um, these are vintage. These are from the 70s. I, a little lady gave me a donation and told me her clown collection was from the 70s. Um, it does say made in Taiwan. They're $1 each. They would be, you know, just go on a little shelf. So cute. I think clowns are happy and I love them, but I know a lot of people don't anymore. I know Heather's probably hollering. <laughs> $1 each on those. Then I have another, and I know it's not Christmas, but I know Hawk is no longer in uh, business. This is a bear. It's a Hallmark bear. And it's, I got a dollar on it. It's like a little care bear look. Little thing. It does have Hallmark thing on the bottom it does say 1984 year before you was born it's cute one dollar on him and you can have a have it ready for whenever you wanted it and that's mine okay. they're not scary heather i love clowns they aren't scary they aren't mm -hmm. I want to show my clown. Oh, you to won't. You. I got you down, Patty. For the okay. So, do you know which one Patty wants? Hallmark was one. Oh, which are the clowns? I think it was. Yeah, probably Hallmark. Just confirm okay. for me. This is a art glass clown. He is hand blown. Um, he does have some bubbles. They look like they were trying to do control bubbles. Um, and he's got like a magic wand with a star and a little chapeau. Where's Ida? I just spoke French. Here's the bottom. It's got some sticker on it. I'm trying to let you see the pontel marks all smoothed down. He's in great shape. Um, if the sticker wasn't there, you could see through. And this guy's going to be a hey, Jane. start. Hey, Jane. And then I also have this um, adorable pig. Um, I think it's an ashtray, and it says made in Japan, and it has a rooster with the things crooked crossed underneath it so i'm not sure what stamp that is but it's pro probably wouldn't be hard to figure out and it says ashes and it's got the mama pig and the baby pig and this is going to start out at six dollars it's an old key again there's some marking let's see what that says s-e-t-o or and i don't know which letters the what order the letters go in, but it's adorable. And I'm going to throw it on back to Teresa. Thank you. I have three of the redneck cups. They're all different and they are the Jeff Foxworthy cups. They are a pretty good size cup. 
Um, I'm doing them for a dollar each today. And I'll show you the different scenes on them. This one says you might be a redneck if you've ever been accused of lying through your tooth. That's in one. This was a, a redneck original redneck. Again, they have. Cute. And then I have one more, and it has a truck on it. I think it's cute. So the set you can get three of them for three dollars, or if you just want one. Hey, Caroline. Oh my gosh. Stop it, Teresa. You have all the good stuff. Hey, Caroline. You make me want to buy everything. I, I told you I got a lot of stuff. You might be lying These through. These can be counted as my two since there's three. No, it's not. Unless you don't uh -oh, have the doggies. Go, you can go again. That was like a choice. Okay. Um, I sold the paperweight, the doggy paperweight, I believe, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hey, doggies. My doggy's cutting up because something's out there. Had to get home and come babysit your Your great your doggy. Brother. <laughs> your brother. <laughs> she gets so mad when I say that. Okay, if you're interested in the redneck cups for a dollar, let me know. I'll do this next little thing. It's a little doggy salt and pepper shaker, uh, 101 Dalmatian kind of thing. It does have its stopper. It's $1. And it's just a single one. I just have one. But it's cute. Look at them eyes. Giving us eye dye. Where's Miss Pam? <laughs> oh. I'm obsessed with Hello, Michelle P. If I didn't say hello. Oh, yeah, I think I'm there. Okay. Y'all interested in either one? Just let me know. All, 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 all. I got to get this stuff out of this house. Heather, I know you are not saying that. That is your brother. He's a, no, he's a D O G. She knows it. Outside. She knows he's an inside dog and she knows her mother. It's not, I didn't ever put you outside, Heather. A hawk could swoop down and take that little dog away. No, Heather. Okay. I have a really... Did you show something besides mugs? Yes. I did. I showed the dog. I showed mine. It's your okay. turn. Okay. Hi. I'm paying attention. Okay. I get so ADD because I'm trying to look at chat and talk to y'all. I have a really, 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 really awesome piece. Um, this is a seven-piece set of Blanco and it's all purple. So this is the picture and then you have six cups and they're all purple as well. Um, I'm going to start this out at $25 for the set. There's the top. It's got like a gold rim. Some of the gold, you know, is wearing away because it's an older piece. That's what the bottoms look like. I know. Close your eyes, Heather. At least it's not red, okay? <laughs> then we'd be in trouble. <laughs> and so, yeah. But I just, love purple. I love purple. Purple is a great spiritual color, I think. So, that was my Blanco. It's going to start at 20. I got a birthday coming up, Heather. <laughs> oh, Heather. Okay. And I tried <laughs> to let Tree have this, but she is like no girl no that's worth too much and i still think she should have it but it is 25 dollars. it is the large size and i think the shape is cinderella right because i used to think that was a pattern but the it's handle a cinderella is. bowl and i don't know that what this pattern's called but it's really neat Teresa probably knows or y'all probably know um Dutch Are something that's well? me it. It's got a tur uh, turkey. Oh my God, Elizabeth, wake up. A rooster. And to me, those look like hot air balloons, but I think they must be wheat bundles. And then the little couple. And they're, 
like minimal wear. Like you see under the handles, there's some paint loss. Let me get it close. Very it's in great shape as yeah. far as that, the age of it. And this pattern. Right. Oh my gosh. So it says pirate. Yes. And I don't see the number. I don't know if the, I know Cha Cha says the number, so I'm pretty sure they mean something. It's kind of wearing away, but I think it says 444 maybe. Yeah, that um, sounds right. Like if I think I think you could still make a good profit off of this one, if you were to buy it. But I'm an expert in pots in here. Hey, so thank you guys. I'm gonna ask five for this vase because it is a bone china, uh, made in England. It's an Ashley sweetheart vase. It is absolutely so delicate and so precious. It would be pretty on the bedside table or just anywhere, but it's gorgeous. The colors are pink, yellow, green, lavender, and I'm going to show you the bottom of it. And I'm probably showing it upside down because that's what I do best. It has a sticker. It has Mountain England. It has everything on it. So for resale, you could do really well for this for resale. There's no chips, breaks, cracks, anything, and it is a little dirty. But other than that, that'll come right out. That's just dirt. And what's your price on that? Five dollars. Which is a really good price. Leaves you a lot of room for resale. Okay. Then I have another um, Japan vase that's very pretty too. And I'm going to do five on it also. It has wow. a lot of gold trim on it. A lot of gold embossed or whatever it's called in pink. And it's about six or seven inches tall. Let's take a quick guess. Let me see. Seven. About seven inches tall. Very, very pretty. That is gorgeous. They're both very pretty. Okay. All right, you guys. Let face. I got them. Right. All right. So next up, I have another one of these guys. I think Teresa, you had one recently. No. Is this a, the wedding cake? You put the slice of wedding cake in here, I believe. Um, I don't see any makers mark. Yes, it's called the wedding cake compote. Okay, and hmm. I'm gonna start this out at fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars cake pedestal. Uh, now I know if I ever get married, if I ever find a wonderful man, I want my wedding cake served in one of these. Just to be fancy. He'll be like, what are you doing? A cake. That was supposed to say cake. My C button sticks. Okay. So if y'all want to come in on that, there's that. And then I also have this piece. And I don't think like it's a super fancy brand of milk glass. It says something about Cleveland on it. Something Brody Company. EU Brody Company. But it's different looking. It's almost like snow. Um, oh, it makes a pretty sound. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And I'm going to start this bad boy at $8. I think it's melt glass, but I don't know. I don't know how to tell melt glass anymore. I used to think bone china was melt glass, but I'm learning. Y'all, y'all, it's like a really large goblet. So that's what I'll say. You could probably put like a plant in there. There's no drainage. So, you know, be mindful of what plants you put in there. And my ruler says, 
I'm inside your chair. Okay. This is six inches, I would say. Maybe six and a quarter. And it would be great. That's what I thought. It looked like it may be a floral vase for the 4th of July, but it's even more great for Christmas time because it just looks like snow. Thank you, Caroline, for the answer, for the info. And so if you're interested in either of those, let me know, and I'm going to throw it back to Teresa. Thank you, guys. Hello, Perfecting Pearls and uh, anyone else at Casual Flip, or anyone else I speak to. Hello, everybody. It's hard for me to watch the chat and do this. I have an egg dish salt and pepper rooster set from Japan. Does still have the stickers on it, and I'm asking 16 for it. And it is so cute to me. I struggled with not keeping it. <laughs> but it does. Let me just show you a little piece at a time so I don't break it. It is very, very cute. It is that gold color that they had back in the 70s. Kind of gold brown color. Does have the stickers on it. it would be good for resale again. The little chickens have their little stoppers. They have their little signs on them too. Let me turn them up where you can see what they look like. And look how adorable they are. They are so sweet. That is so cool. I didn't see any that chips, so cracks, paint on them. So as far as the Japan stuff goes, they're in really good shape. And again, I'm asking 16 for this. Because it is, you know. You're vintage. never going to find that with both shakers and the dish. Mm -mm. I don't know. Right, it's it's in really good condition. Sure. Tray the egg tray, the salt and pepper shakers. Okay, next I have I heard somebody ask for a paperweight. This is a paperweight. You do fill it with whatever you want to fill it with. I got it marked down to six dollars. It is from it says nineteen fifty eight to nineteen sixty six Snoopy, uh, and that on a lot of them I saw online didn't have the writing still on it. So this one's in very good shape. They took a lot of good care of him. And for $6, you can sell him online for a lot more than that. Especially oh. with all the good condition he's in. Upwards of 50 I would think. Especially in that collector's edition. Mm -hmm. I mean, edition. Right. And him, him being in such good shape. Yeah. And being from that year. Being so, you know, from the 60s and stuff. Okay, that's my two. Now, thank you all so much. Sticking with me. We try. Oh, we're trying to bring it to y'all. Find some. Find what y'all want. Jane's in for six. I think that might be a battle because, like, that's a really good item. I can sell a modern. Thank you, Jane. Modern Snoopy mug. Snoopy mug for more than that on eBay. That's amazing. I'll, I'll let that give that a chance in case somebody else wants to come in on that. And then I have another bird plate. I couldn't pass them up because they're gorgeous. And this is again by Andrea by Sadiq and copyright Elizabeth Goals Rush. Don't eat on it. It'll poison you. Um, it's got its plate hanger on the back. It's still got its Sticker, so it might be easy to just scan and upload, you know, find it on eBay. Um, very texturized again. 10 inch plate. I do, you know, I showed the other one earlier. So they're two different bird plates. And these are, it's going to be $10 if anyone's interested. And I also have. Uh, this blown glass piece and they say it's crystal but it's definitely well that's the name of the brand they're not saying it's crystal it's called fifth avenue crystal limited and it's a really pretty um swirl piece it looks like they had um i forget cha-cha explained to me how they do this but 
they kind of layer the paints and it's footed which is kind of different it's got a clear bottom and this one's gonna be $13 if anyone's interested purple all right and it's blown glass even though it's the brand name that says crystal it's definitely blown glass okay and i'm gonna throw it on back to teresa i have some more little doggy ornaments do what you could leave them on the shelf or you could put them up they just look like they were like little handcrafted little things they're one dollar and i have three of them three different little doggies i guess we could do one and two this looks like maybe like a little yorkie or something i'm not sure and they do all have their little hooks on them this is number three he's cute And they're does dollar have a little tag. Oh, dollar each. Dollar each. Dollar each. One, two, and three, if y'all interested. Wait, is that a Karen Carrier in your right hand? Wait, let me show you which one. This one? Yes. This one? Yes. I'm going to bid on that one for my mom. She's got a little Karen Carrier. Cha-cha! Okay. Oops. Hey, cha-cha! So that's a bid for me. I know sometimes I type in things. And my C button. There it is again. It's an Aaron Carrier okay. now. And cha-cha, come join us! Style with yeah, come join us. You sell that to Lucy. I guess Any anybody else wants to. Next, I got, I got a funky looking. Next box. for what? This is one dollar, and it's a little wolf hanging high on at the moon. It has a little baby or another one sitting right here. It does have like a little tree back here. It's just a little resin type thing, I think. Or maybe maybe ceramic, but it's just doesn't weigh that much. Let me give y'all a better look at it. That's cute. One dollar. Do I have him and these two left? A dollar each on any of them. Just let me know if you want one. Thank you. Okay, Howling Wolf. I'm in for a dollar because I love the howl Howling Wolf. Anybody wants to come in against me, you're more than welcome. <laughs> and then my dad's going to kill me when he sees all this. I don't even know how to value this. Like, I haven't researched it, but it looks really special. I wish Katie from Vintage and Vinyl was here to tell me more about it. Because I think it is a wax stamp kit. So, like, here's one of the pieces to it. I've never, never done that. So, I'm not, you know, I can't educate you on how it's done. But here's a little blue china dish. Oops, let me just set this down. I'm sorry, this might take a second to show. It looks like a dragon. And on the inside, there's wax. And you have this piece, also blue china, to put your little brushes on. And they also have a dip part. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I caught that. That I guess maybe you wash your pins off in. I really don't know how these work. And then they have this kind of stone carved. Almost looks like actual jade. Um wow okay anyway it's a really 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 awesome piece oh my god and then there's more there's a writing stone and underneath this part in the box i didn't even notice 
And then, oh my God, there's this piece, which I'm not too sure what you put in that part. The stone you carve your own stamp on the top. Oh my God. Cha-cha, what is this? What should I prize this at? <laughs> it's very special. I think it's super cool. I'm thinking like 50 bucks, but I could be way off with that. Um, I'm going to start it at 50 until I do some more research on it, guys. If you know better than me, let me know. I'm going to, yeah. Okay, $50. Ink set. Ink box set. Cha-Cha knows what it is, so... I don't know how to price that, you guys. It looks super special. I really do feel like that's a piece of carved jade, which you never find real jade anymore. Okay, sorry. That took a long time. And number two, blown glass grapes. I know I sent one of these to Summers. They're really cool. They have the applied leaves and the little handle. Chinese painting kit. Okay, I'm going to look that up, cha-cha. And this is going to be a $6 starting bid. And these go for a lot in antique stores. Um, the glass fruit. I should start a collection, but my dad would be like, you can't leave that in my house. And that's my two. If any of y'all are interested, just let me know. And here's Teresa. I have a vintage stapler bid at eight dollars it does work it does staples in it it is heavy i'm shake it is staple fell out <laughs> it does work i don't know if you can see that little staple or not it was made in the usa it is the uh, spring line Long Island City, New York, made in USA, patent number, all of it's on there. It has a little rubber thing. If you do, if you collect mint things, this would be so cute to add to your collection. It's all metal. This is not going to tear up because it is metal unless you run over it with a car or something. It's going to be there. It's been all these years. It's all the rubber in it and everything is really in really good condition pieces here all the writing you can still see the writing very good on it let me turn it around here so yeah that's so I don't neat. know if it's gonna get to where y'all can see the writing or not but i'm gonna start it at eight dollars like i said if you have a shelf that you do vintage on it it does have some patina on it which just makes it more special to me okay that's eight and I got a funny little man, and he is vintage. I'm going to start him at a dollar. 1973. It's just that plastic. Happiness is a scale that lies to you. Isn't that true? I like my scale to, you know, say a pound or two less. Ten pounds would be great. And it's a uh, fairy war because it is from 73. But it does still have the writing on it. I have sold these on eBay mm -hmm. for over $10, 15 several of them but this one just never i don't think i ever listed this one honestly because i liked it but i'm ready to get rid of it it does have the writing on the back um wallace something company i can't hardly make that out. made in the usa 9081 1973 and again dollar if anybody's interested in this just as a fun if you've got a dad that, for father's day coming up in june it's about a month away. That would be funny if you had a dad with a funny sense of humor like that. And again, I got that statue in this. And that was my two. All right. I tried to make a joke. I don't know if anybody got it. That Did you move my stapler from <laughs> office space? <laughs> Except it's not red. <laughs> right. You'd have a hard time moving this one because it's heavy. <laughs> This thing probably weighs at least two or three pounds. Yeah, those don't break. It's guys. one of the very, you know. Those will last forever. No, it's not. It is. It is a very hard steel. It's one of those that they made back in the day that they meant to stay there. Okay, and I thank y'all. Yeah.
my grandpa had tons of old staplers because he, you know, worked in an office. And they, those things last. Okay, this is a really super cool piece. I'm not sure if they put leather on top and, like, carved it out and painted it. And it says International Geocom Incorporated, 13540 North Florida Avenue, Suite 207, Tampa, Florida. So I don't know if this was just made, sold there, or if that's where it was hanging in somebody's office. But it's really cute, really pretty piece. Um, it's got angels. I do believe that's Mary and Jesus, but I'm not 100% certain. And I'm going to start this out at $10. It could be a collectible piece. Oh, um, Heather. Oh, Heather, Heather got your joke. Thank you, Heather. $10 starting bid artisan. Artisan art because I am at a loss for words. I don't know. I think it's just super cool. I'm going to look this up too. Anyway, there's that one. Gorgeous. And I also have, um, these are like Coca-Cola around the world glasses. Um, this is a little, let's see, probably four or five incher. Yeah, it is four and a half inches tall. And this one had, it says overseas, and it has a bunch of people hanging out at the beach. And I'm going to start it out at $2. And it's a pretty cool collectible Coca-Cola piece. They did have a lot. Somebody had brought their Coca-Cola collection. I don't know if anybody's in there. It, I mean, collects that. $2 starting bid Coca-Cola. And yeah, I have one, two, three more like that. So they're pretty neat. And thank y'all. Here's Teresa. I'm so sad I didn't been on that. I have a little three dollar little wooden box. It's in real good condition. It is older, according to the little brass little handle and hinges. There's a real wood. Hinges. I'm going to have Maury in for three. Thank you, Maury. You write it down. No other interest, then sell it to Maury. Okay, going once. Going twice. Fair warning. Sold to my girl Maury. Hey Pat. There, I don't think. Okay, next I have a rather large thing. Let me get it up a little bit at time. This is a temptation old world. QVC roaster. Like you can put your chicken on there, whatever. It does come with the wire to bottom. I do have $30 on this, unless you want to make me a better offer because these sell online for a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't, I it had no heavy. idea what to do that for. It is a roaster. It is oven proof. Oh, let me show you. Let me show it to you like this a little bit at a time because I will. It's very, it would be gorgeous on a table. It does match the teapot someone bought from me the other day. I'm going to show you the bottom when it says on it. I don't know if you can see that. Is that focusing in? Um, yes. Like you can read the big words, temptation. I can see that. And then the little words, like if you push it close to the camera and bring it back slowly, it might focus, but you're kind of froze right now. That's such a glare. 
Yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you what it says. It says, um, I think it says, Old World Oven Dishwasher Safe. It was made in China, but it is Temptation Ovenware by Tara, it looks like. It is very pretty. And if you got a teapot, this matches it. It's very pretty. I got two different times, but it was exactly the same thing. What culture do you think that print's made to look like? That pattern? It looks like... I don't know. I don't know. It looks almost like Moroccan. It is very, very pretty. Yeah. It's very pretty. That is neat. I like the spout to pour the juices out. Right. Right. Break. Exactly. It has it, and it has it on here too. So it's made it very convenient. You know, it matches and all. Okay, and that's mine. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna um show that to my mom and see what see if she'd be interested. But she's building a new home, so I don't know her style. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up, I have this thing, and I need everybody's help identifying it. Teresa, you've seen everything. You may know. Why is there a little post in the middle of this little little pot? Anybody? Anyway, it's, <laughs> I thought it was unique. I'd never seen one, so of course I pick it up. I'm like, it caught my eye. And it says, Green Hill Pottery, made in North Carolina. And it's got a little indention there. It's like somebody stuck their thumbprint. Maybe that's their signature is their thumbprint. But I really have no idea what this would be used for. Is it an ovenware? Could it be some kind of roaster also or something to cook with? Does it say oven safe? Because I know people cook with that pottery some places. It says it's microwave. Could be a toilet paper holder. You could Dishwasher so, safe. So it is cooked. And it is a roaster thing, kind of like what I just showed. You think so? The like, toilet paper holders are real good, dear. Um, maybe it's like, yeah, you could put a little um, quail or something and roast it. I don't know. That's cool. Um, anyways, it's a $10 starting bid. Ah, that says 19 Pottery. How are we doing on time? Cool. We got another another hour to go before we start running into whoever's coming on at whatever time. You may have a troll. You have a troll. It's in private chat. You hey, butterfly yeah. nurse. Um, okay, they can't. Yeah, they can't see him. Okay. Welcome, Christy. Toilet paper plan. It's not for toilet paper, I don't think. But me, uh. And then, was that my two? I can't remember. That was my one, I think. I think oh. the first one. That was your first one. Yeah. Okay. This is flipping amazing. It actually kind of matches the colors of your like teapot and your roaster dish. And it's a little purse. It's ceramic and it has rosebuds all over it. It's a very soft green and a soft pink. And so it's a coin bank. You stick your change in there. You could use this maybe to save for your next purse. It's a, it's still got a like barcode on it. And let me try to see what it says. Charles Sadiq Import Company. Andrea by Sadiq. Somebody must have had their estate sale collection of Andrea by Sadiq brought to this place. Anyway, it's a $10 start. I think it's super neat. It's got its cork in the bottom. Um, again, Andrea by Sadiq. It's got a little snap top. $10. Ooh. $10. Starting bid. Purse. And so, I just think it's darling. And that is my two. And I thank you. Here's Teresa. And welcome, Christy. I have a little metal fat shelf napkin holder. This will keep your napkins down and, and not blow away. And if you have a 
picnic or just want to put it on your table or however you would like to do it. It is really nice. Um, I had eight on it. I'm going to mark it to six today. This stuff is, you can still buy it. I see it in all the little stores still. But it, it was more like 2000, early 2000s whenever I had it. This was mine. It was barely used. It does have the little knobby legs on it. You could resell it or put it on eBay and get a pretty good bit for it. That's that one. Then I have a huge soup terrine. I'm going to ask 15 starting for it. It does have the lid in good shape. I had 18, but I'm going to go to 15. It has the ladle, which this right here is worth the 15. I should have took it out and kept it, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> it does have some dust in it. Soup terrine, 15. I'm a poet and don't know it. I'm trying to get a little of the dust out. It is very pretty. Now, let's see what it says. Oh, it's made in Japan, so it is older. Be pretty. You could do a um, springtime something in it, a spring soup, a cold soup or something in it. It's really not all that heavy. That's why I'm, I'm trying to do this. I can't look at the thing and do it. Anyway, I'm going to be broke. I'm trying to look on there and do it. Anyway, it comes with the ladle. Let me put it together like this. There we go. I'm not coordinated. It is very pretty. Okay. That are the neck and holder. Let me know in the chat if you decide you want either one. And I thank you. See if I can hold them both up. Hey, Shane in for the Hey. It's a really nice, um, that's a good deal. And that's not, nice. thank you, Jane. You, I think you'll enjoy this. Or you can resell it. I'm sure you could start it at 50 on eBay, easy. Oh, gosh, yes, probably beautiful. It's got the handle, it's got the ladle, it's got everything. Right. Yeah. It's like I said, these That's ladles that. go for that online because I've been going to buy one. <laughs> yeah, I left mine in a wedding. I was catering. I left my ladle in their kitchen. Thank you. I'm coming, I swear. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Here we come. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, I've got like a mug tree thing, and it's very pretty. Oh, I need to put myself on. Lord be. Oh, yeah, Pat. It, the heavy stuff, I understand that. So these little cups say Cucina Italiana. And I don't speak Italian, so I'm not sure if I'm saying cucina right or what that means. But it's a really cute set. Great if you have company over and you want to make a little pot of espresso. Um, I'm trying to check for damage. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six saucers, six cups, and the tree. And I'm going to start that out at 15. It's a really beautiful piece. Um... It's exclusively by J&S Italian Imports, Linea Santino. There is plenty of people that it looks like it has apples on it. They would either have apples in their kitchen or they have wine stuff in their kitchen, Italian decor, you know, things that, that would be perfect. perfect. I see Maury's in at 15. Yep. <laughs> she knows, she knows. I mean, just even the tree, those are so hard to find. And Italian kitchens, yeah, they have nice like little pottery. And not only just the tree itself, it holds the saucers too. It's I know. For mugs, that is so cool. 
and it's like on feet so it doesn't sit flat on your counter which is nice but if there's no other interest we can go ahead and start calling it to maury thank you so much maury and it has its own cute little box which i'm gonna have to um definitely package up in there I sure was tempted. I'm glad you bought it. I know. That's how I am. I'm like, please buy it so I don't. Because <laughs> I get excited over things. Thank you so much, Maury. It does. It says Italian kitchen all the way. Let me write that down. Thank you, Maury. Okay. Was that my, that was my one? Yes. And my number two is this that awesome first one. This awesome <clears throat> looking basket. Thank you for keeping my memory for me. You're so good. And it's um almost like a ruffled edge, but it's diamond point. So it's like sawtooth. And it's so pretty. It's got this probably a stainless steel handle, I would imagine. Um it's really nice quality probably oh the cups say that hey Laura thank you for coming and I'm gonna start hey this Laura at eight dollars which I think is a super good deal you can put anything you want on this um, what are those people make with their trays and their little displays you could use that uh, you could put your tumbles in there or your spears. It's just a really cute piece. And the people were eyeing me, eyeing it in my basket at the store. They were all jealous. All right. And that's my two. Thank y'all. Good Thank thing you washed your basket. They probably would have tried to snap it from you. Girl, I had to keep filling baskets and hiding it under the register's counter. It was like, it was... I filled two baskets and then started piling things on top. It was crazy. <laughs> I had this sweet little teapot. I had it for 10. I'm going to mark it to 8 today. It is um, Wood and Sun England. I know, but you have all it the is good very stuff. <laughs> It's a pretty England, little green and cranberry. England makes the best. It is pizza. like new. Oh it is in God. such good condition. It's hard to believe that it's older. It's in good, good hey, condition. Eight. I marked it from 10 to eight. Okay. Good, big handle right size for a couple of cups i can't believe you're going eight dollars on that that is gorgeous I'm ready to get rid of it girl i'm gonna show my and mom i have these two stuff. little paintings i'm gonna do a dollar on the paintings so i can get rid of them they they are older they are oil painting they are signed i think they're pretty i think they're a little they're kind of really similar, a tad bit different they are older canvas. They got staples on the back. You froze. So it says you... L. Freeland. Okay, you're back, but just, yeah, there you go. Now I can see him again. Okay. Are you saying? say scared? L. Breland. They have their signs. That, that reminds me of Bob Ross hey. painting style. Yeah, it is an older canvas. It does have the hanger. It we reminds have me that on it. of this. Interested in either one of them for, for a dollar? I'm sorry, what? They remind me of like the '70s, like oil paintings, like my grandma used to paint. Yeah, they are. They're older. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, they're I, older I, paintings. I came in on each of them. You said they're a dollar each. A dollar each. Okay. And we, we have Laura in, I believe, two dollars. So I'm gonna come in at 
four dollars two on each if that makes sense to y'all i think laura had two i don't know if she wants one or two of them you just want one or you want two let me know oh she's going for one okay you can't break up this set. Laura. They're, they're too similar, you could, I guess. Yeah. It's a little little tad bit different. I know you artists can see the birds and the water's a little different. Maybe a different little view. Let me see if I can. They're brothers. You can't break up a family. <laughs> Laura, I'm at four. Do you want to yeah, come okay. in? Come in for three on one of those. Or come Lights in. Let's just have like a little bit of paint. I don't know. That's what I'm at. Four for both. Yeah, five is for both, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Five. I don't. Y'all figure it out between you. Yeah. <laughs> Five, you're in for both. That is correct, Laura. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to go. Oh, I love them. Six. I'm sorry. I always <laughs> wanted oil paintings. I'm sorry, Laura. I know we're friends. I'm just <laughs> I had sisters bidding against sisters yesterday, my girls. <laughs> All oh, going baby. Thing, baby. There's no true friends and options. <laughs> <laughs> she come in for seven, Lucy. I'm in at eight. I know what oh, my you're in at eight. I have a limit. No friends and options. <laughs> I know. That's how I, I Even if it. I have seen people paint over these things. I, I wouldn't dare, but. No. Oh, she's out to you, Lucy. <laughs> Dang, girl, you're close to winning. Okay. Thank you. Thank y'all. I bet you 10 was your max, right? Yeah, 10 was my max. How did you know? <laughs> what was it, eight? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And that's, I had the little teapot for eight if anybody's interested in it. That's mine. Thank you all, ladies. That was fun. What hurts your soul, Laura? <laughs> oh, to hear that you was only going to go in? Maybe you come back in, Laura. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, seriously, you can if you want. I'm not no friends at auctions, remember. <laughs> I just got some Disney plushes at a yard sale. Oh, it hurts your soul that someone would paint over it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah that yeah, that was cool. Okay, that was your first one, right? The two paintings? No, I had the, I had the teapot for eight also. Okay. So like I'm going to show all that to my mom and see if she's interested. Now, um, it's a beautiful piece. I used to paint over my own art, um, but that's the joy of painting. If you mess up, you can just paint over it and fix it. So this is amazing. I don't know how it survived, but it is a glass figurine. It is an owl. I'm going to try to give you a side profile. Oh, my God. I wish you could see his eyes. Let's see. I do believe he's glass. He does, like, at the end of this little branch, I think he kind of snapped off the corner. But, like, you can't tell unless you feel it. You, it just looks like it's supposed to be that way. And then the glass is all strung and bundled together at the bottom. It's a really neat technique they did there. 
the nurses. There he is. And I'm going to start this guy at $5. And I think that's it. That's it. Good price. We used to collect these types of things. I don't think they were like handmade like this, but we would get um, service merchandise. If you guys remember that. We would pick up these little glass figurines. We have a bunch in our china cabinet. Okay, so there's that. And then my next one is another glass owl. He's really neat. He's kind of, um, I don't know, he looks sassy. So he's like got blue wings on him, like blue, uh, blue in the glass. He's really, 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 really pretty. I think the other one had a harder technique, but this one has a better aesthetic. So um, I, collect. I collect those. This is going to be it. Oh, look. So this is not blue in the glass. This is applied. It's almost like flashed on there. So I want to make that known. So I'm going to start him at $8. So I'm gonna start him. I just noticed he was flashed. But he's still gorgeous. I mean, you got to go looking for it. It looks like it's purposeful. And he just, again, goes great in your little knickknack shelf or in your china cabinet with your other collectibles if you're into that. I've got like a little medicine, it's a wooden medicine cabinet. That's where I've been keeping my tiny little things. So I have like, I think I have like a giraffe. I think I have an elephant, stuff like that. Well, don't be surprised if you have an owl. Here you go, Teresa. <laughs> Thank you, ladies for and gentlemen. Hey, 710. What's up? Hey, hey, everyone in the chat. Lou said, look away now. I'm going to do some more carnival glass. <laughs> and this is a fuller start. <laughs> and it's like a little flower. I pick at her because she always buys my carnival glass. It is a kind of an amber carnival glass. It is older. Oh my God. It does yes. have the, you can feel the texture of the, I always called it a sunflower, but I don't know really what it's, what the flower is, but it could be whatever you want it to be. And it's just a medium sized bowl. It would hold nuts or mints or jelly beans or cheese or whatever you want it to. Oh my God. Marigold. And it's so, oh my God. I opened my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it is a marigold. That's that's what it is. I have a um, niece named Marigold. I remember I that. Thought I, I thought I spotted some carnival glass today at a yard sale, but I did not pick it up because it looked like it had a couple scratches, and I was wasn't sure because I know I'm not good at knowing what to pick up on that. Can I tell you a tip? This one is in perfect condition. For when you're hunting carnival glass, is you hold it up to the light. Yeah. And then you look for, if there's any clear spots, that means it's flash and it's not, I mean, it's still, people will buy it, but it's cheaper. It's not as, you know, collectible. That is an old piece. That is a really old piece of carnival glass. Yeah, this is, I've had this for many years. I happen to know it's old. <laughs> it's very old. Okay, well, $4 yeah, on good. that. Then I oh, have no. these fine china made in indonesia fine china it's got an l on the back of it they are victorian plates looking the era they do have the silver ring around them i'm going to start the bid at three dollars each i have two the i'm going to start them at three they're both just in perfect condition if i don't drop them you said that carnival glass is four dollars. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm in for four. If anyone wants to battle me. Okay, we'll go back to it. Thank you. Be pretty with some fairy lights in it. <laughs> Thank you for trying to make me look away. It didn't and work. Hey, Carl, handsome. He was told you to look away. James Hello, Carl. Oh, there comes Jane. Okay. Come on, Jane. Make her pay up for it if she wants it. <laughs> so pretty. I this is all textured. The thicker carnival glass that's like 
produced later, you can tell that's old. That might even be. Yeah. I don't know. Or yeah, it, it's very old. Yeah. It, it's been around for a long time. I'm wondering who made that. I'm wondering if. This- and all the there's there's no like chips or anything on here that, you know. None of that. So that's unusual that it's not broken. Anyway, I don't think it has any marks on it anywhere that I can go as far as I made it. But it's beautiful. It's just flashing all kind of colors at me in this light. Uh, oh, we got lucid at eight. Sarah, I think, oh, no, loves that kind of stuff from Thrift View. She's, she always finds beautiful old marigold like that. Oh, Jane! I'm out. To, I'm out to Jane. If anybody, but there's still other people bidding. Okay. So we have Jane and what? Well, thank you. Wait, it's still going. It's still going. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I thought you said you that Jane had it. I'm sorry. No, Eddie's still bidding. He's at twelve. Okay. I like the th- the fact that it's textured. Man, Even the sides I'm, are textured. I'm curious if that's Fenton because it's just got that look. It may, yeah, it may be. Like I said, it's been around here for a long time. Um, Okay, here's one. I do believe it is Fenton iridescent. No, they didn't label the brand. It's I think it's a heavier glass. It's a real heavy glass as far as you know thickness. The thickness what I'm talking about. And this this ain't that heavy as far as holding it, but it, the thickness of it is heavy duty. I guess is what I'm looking for. Eddie one. Congrats, Eddie. Oh, okay. That is a nice. Thank you, store. Eddie. Send me your information to my um uh, to the link below, please, Eddie. Thank you so very much. Oh wow! I'm sorry. I'm like scanning through all the pieces yeah. like that online. No, Eddie, you cannot do that, Eddie. Oh, that's sweet of you, Eddie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eddie, you're so sweet. Lucy, Lucy is a precious person. She deserves all the kindness y'all can very, very. I'm going to show these Victoria ones up a little closer. Oh, I love that look. You like the little bowls. I do too. That was sweet, sweet. Okay, that was my two. Wait, let's remind people that what that was. I'm going to copy Christy's thing so people copy. I know Christy does tablets, so she's, I've got a mouse today, Christy. I'm like beast mode. Victorian plate, $3. So, just in case, bring it back up. I know we got all excited on the carnival glass. Awesome, awesome. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Eddie, you are so sweet. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. I have something they are that, sweet. that I think is super neat. And it does have a ch- couple of chips, a few chips, but I don't care because it's really, really cool. Um, so uh, it looks like it'd be a wall hanger, but it's got a print on both sides. Also looks like it would hold your ladle or your spoon, but it has a hole in it. Maybe somebody drilled it for decoration, but it has the different mushrooms in their names. So this is Caesar, Amanitas, Edible, Bolete, Capt, Mycena, Horn of Plenty, and it is by Avon, believe it or not. And then the back is meadow fairy ring champion champion field cap chandrail you get the picture it's got a lot of different names on there 
So let me show you the damage is right there. I'm going to start it out at $5. And in my mind, this is worth like 30 because I love mushrooms, but I'm crazy. If you do that. Is it a spoon rest? I think so, because it has the, like a saucer, like it would yeah. hold stuff. But I think somebody went ahead and drilled a hole or something to hang it on the wall. We hung everything up in the 70s. We had little houses and we used the wall and we hung it up and we'd grab it and use it and hang it back up. So maybe Eddie is the one who might let you eat cake out of your first piece. Check into that. Just saying. <laughs> oh, Heather. Heather forever the romantic. Eddie, how <laughs> old are Heather. you? No, I'm kidding. Okay. so <laughs> Wait, this is my fault. You're not that's five dollars i mean i've had horrible 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 dating experiences <laughs> okay this guy is adorable he is a bisque owl he's sitting on a little branch what is that a little rose right there he's got roses coming out of his chest that's interesting there's his cute little eyes Oh my God. And there's his bottom. He's hollow on the inside. So he's a light piece. He seems like good quality. See all his feathers and stuff. And he is also a $5 start. I know Dean was like, I don't like owls anymore. Or I have too many. But then I saw all these owls and I picked out my favorites. Okay. So, um, Five dollars starting bid owl, five dollars starting bid shroom rest. All righty, another <laughs> eat cake, and here's Teresa. Chrissy may have had to go oh, check that's on that's funny. That. I have a two thousand <laughs> two five Orange County. Choppers mug. It is really big. Does have a huge handle. It's more like a, those style things. New York on it. I'm sorry, we got farm tractors and all. Go. You don't have all that traffic, but we got it. And I got my door open. Sorry, y'all. This is three dollars. I'm sorry. I don't think I said it. Three dollars. It'll hold a lot of whatever you want it to hold. <laughs> Orange County Choppers, 2005. It's got that motorcycle on it. I don't think about boy stuff. <laughs> so like my whole hand to fit through this handle, so that's a big old handle. Yeah. They have a big man in for that. $3. Okay, next I have for six dollars a spaghetti keeper, Tupperware spaghetti keeper. Six dollars. It does have the little measuring thing in here. Like if you're gonna do one serving or two servings, it has that in there. They call it the spaghetti keeper, but you can put whatever you wanted to in it. it does have all three pieces. The lid is and this is like new too. Six dollars. Tupperware. Okay, that's mine. Orange County choppers or Tupperware? What a what a combination, huh? Girl, that is a neat. You find some neat Tupperware, or you have neat Tupperware? Okay. Um. Here we go. You're good, Christy. Never apologize. I just don't want you to think I'm like stepping on top of you. Okay. Please surprise the heck out of me. So I got a pair of owl salt and pepper shakers. And I didn't really look into their eyes until today. And I was like, that's orange and red paint. That's kind of fancy. They kind of have a, you know, they're nice material. And then today as I'm walking into my house with them, I turn them over 
and they're actually treasure craft which i think is awesome treasure craft is really hard to find without a chip in it i don't know what it is about treasure craft but there's always some kind of chip in it so anyway i think these are amazing let me see that's where it's marked treasure craft which is kind of hard to see i know that but these are going to start at 15 dollars just because it's treasure craft and then i have some different owls too that will be cheaper but these are just special shakers it's okay christy we know you're working hard girl you got like eight jobs in life okay so that's gonna be 15 dollars treasure craft which i learned about treasure craft from oh my god why am i blinking out i watch him all the time he's like the bob ross of antiques he's in our community what is his name why am i blanking out oh gosh he goes all over the country thrifting things i can't remember his name okay anyway this is a little piggy he's eating um food i don't know what he's doing there he's from 1992 it's called pigsville He's handcrafted in China. He's kind of, he's I, really decent quality. Patrick, thank you, Jane. And he's gonna be a $2 start. And Teresa, please finish what you're saying. I talk too much. I talk too much. I eating ice cream. Oh, yes, he is. And look how happy he is. Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay. So that hey, is Jonathan. my team. I'm going to head it on over to Teresa. Let me know if y'all are interested. I have this little vintage um, cup. One dollar, it'd be pretty little decor, or you could drink that of it, I guess, if you wanted to. It has oh, the drip, and it is green, it is the 1970 green. I'm sorry, what's it the does price? Say some numbers at one dollar. It oh has God. some numbers and it does say China on the bottom, so maybe it's supposed to be one of the more, the more modern lookalikes. But either way, it's one dollar. It'd be pretty in your kitchen. You could put a plan in it. You could do whatever you wanted to. Drink out of it, whatever. It does look older, but it does say China. Stop showing me mugs. One dollar. <laughs> it's beautiful. Quit showing you. <laughs> Okay, I had three on this. I'm going to mark it to two. It's a little container. It's in perfect condition. It doesn't have any marks on it or anything. It's a little lid and all. It's perfect, but it is a little summertime. Me and my granddaughter love sunflowers and butter and stuff, so I'm always liking this kind of stuff. And again, the geese. But it's clean. And I had three marking it to two today. Trying to get it to get. And y'all, Teresa has a lot of stuff in her home, like a lot of good vintage stuff. And the stuff she sells does go to her granddaughter to help cover medical bills. So, like, you know, she's letting it go for next to nothing. Two dollars is probably the price of the bubble wrap she's gonna have to use on it. So she's doing, you know, it's for a good cause as well as it's an awesome freaking piece. It's like three dimensional. Jane's in that too. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this is raised right here. It's really cute. Okay. It's worth every bit of. There's <laughs> like no one other interest. Sell it. Sell it All right. Thing. No other interest. I'm going to sell it to Jane Newhouse. Cup for a dollar. If anybody wants. 
She got it was two dollars. The um container. And then yeah. the mug was still two dollars for this, one dollar for this. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jane. Mm -hmm. That mug is so tempting. It's just I don't want to be a hoarder. Because <laughs> I collect everything. Okay. Uh, you just have to trade something out. Yeah, I know. But I've been doing that. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm really bad. Okay, so these are another set of owl salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to start these little ones at five dollars um they are modern but there's no damage i don't think they were ever used and if you're like you've got a red theme in your kitchen or you're an owl collector or you like that um exotic looking print they're really cute and they've got three holes and two holes so you can tell them apart oh no i hope heather's gone Heather's gone? No, I said I hope she is. <laughs> oh. oh, I shouldn't have said red. And then I said it again. If I say it three times, it's like Beetlejuice and she'll appear. <laughs> so there's those cute bad boys. And they still have their box. So I'm going to stick them back in there. They fit in like that now. And uh, was that my, that was my one? I think, I still lost, or was that my two? I think that was my two. No, that's my one. I'm sorry, I'm starting to bring today. Okay, I picked up this piece. Yeah. I think it may be modern, probably so. I don't know if they made stuff like this back in the day and it's in too good of a shape to be old. It is a little, I don't know what you call this type of vase. It's almost like a ginger jar, but then it comes to the top. A jug. Jug. Mini jug. You don't need it. Yeah, Heather. <laughs> and um, I see Patty and for Slash for the owl shakers. And I'm going to start this vase at $5. It is really, I think, good quality. Um, and... So here's the little floral print. It's very shiny. It's a like a bluey gray. It's mostly blue. Um, and the inside's there in good shape. And that's the bottom. There's no wear to it. And that is my two. Let me know in the chat if you're interested. And thank you, Patty Paws, for the owl shakers. Here's Teresa. I'm going to try these amber glass $1 each. I have sold several of them today, but I have these two left. Again, if you're a reseller, this would go good. I don't know if you can tell the pretty color or not. They are a gorgeous brown color. Okay. And I'm going to show these again because they didn't sell earlier. I have six of these little um, juice glasses. They are very vintage. They have gold all over them in there. I have a set of $12. They are very, very pretty. A little design on them. I love those. Little gold. This is in gold. No top. And around the bottom, the gold and the top got the gold. And again, like I said, I got a six of them. They are very, very delicate. They are the thin, thin, thin glass. They're, they're very pretty, though. You could do her or you could do tableware, whatever, whichever way you wanted to. 
So Jane, Jane I'd be glad sale. to do sale with you any. I think they're one dollar each, right? On the amber glass wine glasses. I would too. I would love to do a sale with Jane. Yes, yes, one dollar each. So one dollar. Um, so. Happy and Harned is in at two for the amber glasses. Patty Paws came in at one. Patty Paws, do you want to come in at three? Or are you out? Lana, I missed you. Mm -hmm. Christy's back. For I love real. Lana. They have a thicker bottom on them. And I'll give Patty Paws a second but for the legs. This is thicker and thicker, and, the, and this is thin. Look, let me show y'all what it looks like to us. <laughs> Elbow bump, good vibes. Patty, are you <laughs> out, love? I just don't want to, um, like, go too fast for you. Just let me know. And if not, we will be sold to Happy and Harned for $2. Unless Patty Paws meant to with the one amber wine glasses. I'm kind of confused. Out to Happy and Harned. Okay, Patty Paws. Thank you for. Okay. Thank you, Happy and Harned. Thank you. Yes. Okay, and thank and you, Happy this was a set of six for twelve dollars. Yes. Um, and then my C button <laughs> crapped out on me. Let me type that in again. I think I'm playing the, the set of juice glasses, that's a great um price. You sure there's no little symbol on the inside? I mean on the bottom. I don't see anything. I look. I looked and looked. I don't see anything. This They're probably tells you how old they are. And I've never seen Let juice right glasses. Y'all be sure and send me your info to my. Yes, her email is right there in the corner of the screen. Did you just say something because you got froze for a second? Oh, I was telling them about my email. That's it. Okay. Okay. So let us know if y'all are interested in those juice glasses. Again, easy flip. Um, and Jane, we do our sales Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12. So just let us know when you're interested. Shoot us an email. We'll set something up. I know Cha Cha is supposed to come sell with us too one morning. So we'll try to keep it y'all on separate days so everybody has more time. Okay, so here is an overseas Coca-Cola glass again. Um, it is $2. Well, I'll do a $2 start. It's... um. That's the print on it. It looks like maybe some guys in the Caribbean, except that looks like a big, yeah, probably so, the Caribbean. Um, and there's that. And then I have um, the overseas mug. And I'm going to do a same start. And it's got uh, that lady, Bruno Hush. This one, it looks like a, a castle on a green hill. And that's, that's each for the price, $2 each. You can buy one or all if you'd like. So I have four of them, two, four, six. That'd be $8 if you wanted all four. They're collectible. And... They have copyright the Coca-Cola company. Alrighty. And I'm a, got 
this. I think it's super cool. Holy crap. It is a um, metal flower frog, I believe. That's what I think it is. That's what I, my first thought when I saw it. Um, oh, my God. No, it's not. It's not because they don't have, you can't stick it all the way through. So maybe it's to set your marbles on or your, if you're a marble collector. I'm not too sure. Candles? But it, candles, maybe. I don't know. No, but it'd be so tiny. What do you guys think? Yeah. I really thought it was a flower frog. It's different. Anyway, $5 starting bid. It could be a marble display or sphere holder. You could put tons of little is tiny it, spheres on there. Is it cast iron? Yes. 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 It's just, I don't understand it. It's just, You can put a candle in the scent. I don't know. I don't know. It's cool though. Okay, and that's my two. Here you are, Teresa. Okay. I'm gonna try the bond bottles one more time. I have the poodle snoodle or the uh, retro milk glass, and they both have tags on them. Do three each. If you're into reselling, you know these Avon bottles can go. Especially when it, this one was for the talcum powder. It is clean and it doesn't have too much of a smell now. Um, and it does have the writing on the bottom that makes you be able to know what it was and everything. And then the same with the poodle. It's the right bottom. It's in real good condition. This bottom part's like a milk glass, but the top's a plastic. Same on here. So, choice three dollars. Okay, then I'm gonna bring my cat back up and sell again. And maybe some of y'all wasn't here. And I have three dollars on it. It is a pretty good size. Has a sweet bow and the blue eyes. I just love the blue eyes. And it was made in Brazil. It's a cream color. If you collect cat on the things. That's just adorable. And it's a good size. Yes, it is a good size. It's, it's a little bit of it. It's everything. I'm going to turn into a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to get rid of something else. It's That's like why a, it's so easy for me to buy with y'all. I know. So, three on okay. the bottles and three on the cat. Oh, I have yeah, a poodle. Uh, who is that? Patty Paul for the poodle? Yes, you have Patty for the poodle. Oh, okay. okay, let me write her down. Jane says that made happy bark. He's looking for the dog. Bo's probably got his ears uh, twitching too right now. <laughs> And so I have these two left for three. Be any interest in them? Thank you. All right. I'm gonna. Um. It looks like it's ten till noon our time, and I know I, they have a sale. I think coming up at twelve o'clock our time. So I'm just gonna start showing you guys what didn't sell, which is quite a bit. So. This is my um, Linux base. It's bubbly, six dollars. Um, so just type the item's name and price and I'll write you down for it if you're interested. This is like the hobnail ruffled edge basket. It's a good size. It is the wrong side of the ruler. About eight inches across, and there are no chips, cracks, or damages or anything. Kitty? Kitty? Awesome. Kitty needs a good home. And so that's $12. Thank you, Lana. I have the blue, powder blue Pyrex. That's a popular pattern. 
Um, it's the super large Cinderella bowl. And this is $25. If anyone's interested, great condition. The only wear is some, a little bit of paint wear under the handles, which is phenomenal. Um, let's see. I have the uh, purse bank. And this is $8. It's by Andrea by Sadiq. It's got little rosebuds and a little snap clasp at the top. It's got the little, all the details there for you and the plug. Uh, the Cinderella bowl is so, 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 so. from handle to handle. It is like 12 and a half inches. And without the handles, it is. 10 and a quarter inches if I'm measuring from the outside of the rim. If I'm measuring from the inside of the rim, it would be. It is the largest mixing bowl. Yeah, it's the largest one. And that's, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, just a spot I can rub off, I'm pretty sure. But there you go. So there's that. I have Heather for the $8 purse thing. Um, how much do you think it would be for shipping on that to Laura? Um, they just went up on shipping recently, but it would be no more than, like, it would be $12 max, and it's probably going to be $9 to ship. Jane, the cat yeah. sold already. You have to refresh, baby girl. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so I've got Heather for the purse. Okay. Bank, eight dollars. Um, and then I still have this beautiful set. You can either keep it on your desk or in your bathroom or your bedroom. It's all got. It's got raised texturized um, birds and flowers all over it, and scroll work. That's going to be $13. All right. I see um, Laura for $25. And I'm going to throw it to Teresa to show some of hers while I write this down. Thank you. I have the Lost Vada Cup for Two dollars with the big bill, the pretty scene, pretty night time scene of Nevada. It's a large. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Sinuses is killing me. Okay. Um, Las Vegas, Nevada. Big cup. Two dollars. I have this tiki wood fish for three dollars. And I have the uh, three redneck cups. A I, I, I dollar. I don't know what I had on them, but a dollar. Sounds good to me. I'll show you the third one. I'll take the redneck cups if nobody claims them. Okay. And I had this. Silly little 1973 man about happiness is a scale that lies to you. That's Does the, have the, best. That's the, the best. That's the best. Like I said, I have sold numerous ones of these on eBay. I just never listed this one because I liked it. You know, it's silly. I've never seen that one, and I love this saying on it. I just love that. Yeah, because they got a lot that's more common than this is. This is a very unusual one, harder to find one. And you could replace this or take it off if you didn't like the pretty felt. One dollar. Oh, I got the chicken, Japan, salt and pepper shaker egg dish, and I teen on it. Mostly because I really don't want to sell. 
<laughs> and then um, the spaghetti, six dollar spaghetti keeper, Tupperware with the measurement for one or two serves. How much was the egg? Orange County. Three dollar mug. I'm sorry. How much was the egg dish with salt and pepper shakers? It looked like it had salt for eggs on it. 16. 16. Yes, yeah, salt and pepper. I'll show it again. Hold on. I was just going over it quick because I had already shut it up. You know, it's no problem. And Jane is in for 13. Salt and pepper. Whatever was 13. And Patty wants the the vintage scale guy. Patty, okay. Ten dollar man. <laughs> okay, and so what? I didn't. I didn't have anything for thirteen. I had a sixteen. Lucy, did you have something for thirteen? And more. I I did it. Sold to Maury. It was a container set. Oh, that's right. Okay. Maury also got the white basket, and there's something I missed, okay. and I just okay. cannot find it. Maury, what was the other one you bid on? I just do not see it. I'm so sorry. You know I'm bad at catching things. I was trying to. <laughs> I had the vintage staple eight dollars. I'm glitchy, glitchy. Did I, Lucy? Did you say you wanted this cup? I can't remember for so. I gotta look back. With Wait, you're $1. still on the, you're still on the stapler. I'm not trying to make it bad. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't sell it. <laughs> no, no, I didn't buy it. Oh, I'm froze. Okay. Um, okay. How much Am I the off the stapler now? You, you froze again. Okay. okay, there you are Eight. on the mug. Eight on the stapler. Okay. Okay. One dollar. Okay. One dollar on the vintage mug you're holding. Hey, working on our internet, y'all. I'm sorry. Hopefully, it'll get better. Yes. It's letting okay. us get caught up. Okay. Uh, I don't think okay. what did sell. All right, and the Las Vegas mug. Oh, by two I vases. Two vases. Yeah, it can be. It can be a dollar. Five dollar vases. Five dollar vases. Those are pretty. You can't see them good. Um, let's try to. Ma'am, move and hold. It. There you go. There you go. Don't move the one in the right hand. Oh shit! Oh, I curse. No. Oh my god! Earmuffs. <laughs> You're okay. Listen. Okay, there you go. That's a good look. Still. Okay. So easy flips on eBay, you guys, and it's for a good cause. Happy Friday, Lana. Japan and England. Yes, they're vintage. Yeah. vintage. I like the Japan. Have a lot of beautiful detail. And I believe that's everything. No, wait, I'm sorry. One more. The fat chef. For, I can let it go for five dollars. Okay. Napkin holder. And it'll hold your napkins down really good. It is an iron. Bubba, oh, oh, wait a minute. My dog says it's time to go. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
joining us. I still got a few things to show y'all that okay, didn't Okay, that's all. Okay. So, just to clarify, Jane, the $13 thank you, thank you. that I sold to Maury was this. If that's what you were talking about, it had already sold. I do apologize. Um, okay. Um, I have this dog. He's $8. Just type the the word I say so dog eight the the name and the price I have the blink blinko set of purple it has got the gold trim on it on the cups there is some wear to the gold trim on the glasses you get a set of six glasses and the picture and I, what was I asking on this I think it was 25 right and I think that's a great deal. I think you could still make a profit off of that as well. Um, I think that's a mushroom. Deal. What is the dog? He is either a Boston Terrier or a Frenchie. So you tell me. You would know better, Laura. And then I have this blown glass piece for $10. Purple, white on the inside. Footed. And then I have all these plates that didn't sell. Beautiful out lavender colors with lavender plants, texturized, raised. They've got pollen. It's got a plate holder. Eight dollars. Um, it's a Frenchie. Oh. And then I have these two Andrea by Sadiq plates. They are ten dollars each. They're texturized. They're two birds. They have all their info on the back with the hangers. Um, let's see. And then I have this gorgeous plate, Andrea by Sadiq. It's got that raised texture. It's got added gold dots on the thing it's very pretty no chips or cracks on any of those those are all 10 um angel bear i'll do three on him if y'all like by the bear feet people um, the, um happy and harmed wants the vegas mug i have the pretty i think it's a modern Little okay. jug, metallic look. Laura wants the eight dollar dolls. Okay, cool. I guess I'll have to I'll have to send you the cat photo. Mm -hmm. I guess or drawing rather. Okay, I have all these owls did not sell. Uh, he was ten. Even he's got that flash. No, he was eight because he was flashed. I'll go ahead and do this one for eight as well. He's got that like spaghetti glass is the best way I can describe the base. And he does have that missing part, like a chip on his branch that you don't know about unless you touch it. Got this little guy. I'll do five on him. He's bisque. He's super cute. And then... I have a pig for $2. He's eating ice cream. Uh, like a leather art handcrafted piece for 10 Weird bowl thing. I don't know what it is. With the center from Greenville, Green Hill Pottery, North Carolina. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. Unless I didn't show the cake dish, but that's okay. I'll save it for my wedding. Okay. Yes, uh, Teresa already sold the salt and pepper shaker. I do want to mention the shirts, Lisa. Yes, please. Hold on. Let me get you up there. Yes, the dog okay. sold to Laura. Yes. We try to do we a fundraiser for my granddaughter. Pretty all we always usually pretty much do t-shirts. The hope for 
for her um, disease of CRPS. And this one is, I can do it all things through Christ who strengthens me, that Bible verse. And it does have the CRPS awareness um, on the bottom. I can't turn this on. And it does have hope for Hannah right here. And they are $15. I have on hand right now 3X and extra large. But if I get, you know, if you want to order a different size, I'll just have to order it. So it might take a little bit. If you want these, I can get them to you within a day or two. And again, the $15 Hope for Hannah t-shirts. This is a 3X right here. And I do thank y'all for all your kindness that you've shown to me and all your help that you've shown me with this. And it is going to a very good cause for my granddaughter. We have hope. Thank you so much. I hope you have a blessed day. And I'll see you again soon. And hope is so important just to say when he when he lost all whatever, you know, I'm, I never can word things right. Hope is something you can always hold on to, you know, always hope for a change. We so, always have hope. We all yeah. hope. So thank you guys so much. Christy, thank you so much for modding. Um, if there's anything that didn't sell when yes. you go back and watch, you know, email us, let us know. I have to um, take care of my mentally challenged uncle tonight. So shipping may not be out until Monday, but I will do the invoicing while I'm over there. And thank you guys so much. Be sure to support Hannah. We need to start... Um, we need to blow this thing up. They need to find some treatment for her and some, they need to do some more um, research on that for sure. Maybe we can blow it up somehow, get it out there. Well, okay. I've never heard of CRPS. No, me either. It's not something people are aware of. Yeah, yeah. And I want to make people aware. So maybe we can do something to help bring awareness to that, you know, have something just devoted to that it'd be cool i mean i think like she could make a great um role model for people or maybe a motivational speaker because she's just a tough little girl you know and it'd be great to get that out there so thank you all she's and y'all have a lot yes yeah, she has yes she has yes they need a cure they have a cure they just need it we just need to get it out there and make it known. They have phenotypes that can go in and change that, you know, part of your DNA that's missing the right gene or whatever that's causing this. They can do it. They just need to take the time and we need to put pressure on them. So thank you, I don't know Carolyn. If you right to, but we'll figure it out. And we love you guys and thank y'all so much for coming. And y'all have a great weekend. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, uh, Carolyn Wait. says, Teresa, please add one three XP in my package. Yeah, and I would like a small if you can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know, thank you. I know you have to order it, but I'll take a small. Okay. That's okay. Order it. We're going to pray for her. We're going to pray that pain away. We would uh, keep it. Amen. Out. I don't Amen. know what merch you have for that stuff we or anything like believe that. Believe in prayer. We are a family that believes prayer. Oh, that's what hope's about. When you when when the doctor we cherish called, your prayers. Yeah, yes. And she, yeah. So, I just want to bring awareness, and you know, hopefully we can do something special about that. Yes, please. Please send prayers, guys. She's a sweet girl. All right. Thank, thank you, you again. Y'all have a good day. We Bye. cherish your prayers. Yes. Rah.